the reality is that I have been given a lot of autonomy to do what I need to do, which has been really, really essential. If you want to know if the police department's social worker is making a difference. Oh, where do I start? Just ask Cherry Jones. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Who's been on the receiving end. I don't want to get emotional with you, but I probably will because I'm so grateful for the help she's given to me and to um, Tawana. Jones is the caregiver for Tawana Aww. and her young son. I called her on the phone. Immediately, she calmed my fears. She was giving me the support, letting me know that the decisions I was trying to make for Tawana were good decisions. In 2021, Genevieve told me, I'm not a police officer. I have no desire to ever be a police officer. A year later, she looks back and sees how her role in the department has played out. Police officers are able to assist with certain things, but I'm able to help with other things. And sometimes those other things are actually what people need. And part of the reason for the job being created was to free up police officers so they can be out on the streets. Our police officers aren't social workers, and they're not supposed to know all of those things. So a social worker has the time and expertise to lend the helping hand. There are things that are happening that a victim needs support with. They may need additional assistance in navigating those systems or referrals to additional services. And so I'm able to provide those things. And in the past 12 months, the numbers are staggering. I provided 1,810 contacts, referrals, or services to the individuals who had been referred to me. Which include a multitude of services. Sometimes people need help with resources, food, housing, clothing. Uh, sometimes it's mental health concerns. Uh, so making sure someone is connected with District 19 or someone else. Genevieve says it's important the public understands who she is helping. Right now, I'm only working with victims when an officer refers that case to me. I'm not looking at every single victim. At times, her job includes responding to the scene, which has happened nearly two dozen times in the past year. So if I get called on scene, it's because an officer has requested that I be there. Genevieve says the public should know this about her job and what she does. Everything a police officer does, I don't do any of that. But the things that I do, the majority of our officers don't do. And so it really goes very well together without an overlap of du or duplication of services. For Cherry Jones, she says that interaction has made a difference in three lives. She always say this to Tawana, myself, and I'm sure others. Everyone deserves a chance to be happy. Everyone deserves a chance to be treated with respect and dignity. Genevieve tells me early on, other city agencies began calling her when they found people in the community in need. She helped them out as well. Now, after more than a year on the job, she tells me she's proud of the accomplishments she and the police department have made, and she's looking forward to doing even more in the future. That's a look inside Wayne's World. I'm Wayne Colville, CBS 6 News.